Hey guys, James MCD Reviews here, and welcome to my Avengers Infinity War review. I'm sorry this took a little bit of time to get out. Uh, I was actually in Chicago this weekend. I was doing a college tour. That was a lot of fun. But now I'm back. I've seen the movie twice now. I am still traumatized. <laughs> but I'm here to do a spoiler review on the movie. Um, I did have a spoiler-free like reaction type of review immediately after I saw the movie that I was going to put up while I was in Chicago, but I didn't really like how it turned out. Uh, it was a bit too rambly and like off focus. So I just decided I'd wait until uh, I saw the movie for a second time to like really get my thoughts together about the movie and just do a full on spoilers uh, talk video just so I wouldn't have to worry about not giving away any uh, plot details. But that is a full spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't seen the movie for some reason. If you have not seen the movie yet, do not watch this video. That should go without saying, but still. I don't want you to go into this movie knowing what happens, because that is part of the experience, is not knowing. So, if you want my spoiler-free, uh, just reactionary uh, thoughts about it, uh, go to... there's a video on uh, my Stardust, the link is in the description. Follow the gauntlet to the description. Uh, and, uh, there I posted uh, some non-spoiler uh, thoughts on it, uh, so go check those out if you want to, and give me a follow. And with that being said, let's get into it. So obviously if you've seen the movie, you know the story. I shouldn't have to explain it. Big bad purple guy with magic glove goes around collecting six infinity stones, and the Avengers try to stop him, and things happen and you will cry. I love this movie. I cannot stress enough how much I love this movie. Um, I love it for multiple reasons. First reason is the characters. Seeing all of these larger-than-life characters in the same movie together for the first time is... Th that's the greatest thing ever. It's, it's so cool that after all this time we finally get to see them together. We get to see Iron Man and Captain America, and Spider-Man, and Thor, and the Guardians of the Galaxy, and Doctor Strange, and Black Panther, and and all of these awesome characters that we've been following for the past ten freaking years, and they're all coming together, that is amazing. And what I like is that they didn't feel out of character, except for one, which I'll get into uh, a little bit later, but they all felt in character, they all acted the way they should act, and they all had great uh, rapport uh, off of each other. But I think the character that really steals the show here is Thanos. Holy fuck this guy. Josh Brolin does a fantastic job bringing life and emotion and oddly enough humanness to a character that is essentially a giant purple Shrek. Thanos is a true badass. He is a great villain, probably the greatest Marvel villain that we've ever had. Um, I like that they didn't just make him a comic relief like type of villain like, the, like they did with Ultron or whatever. They made him legitimately threatening, to the point where whenever he shows up, like, you're afraid. Like, you're like, what the fuck, what is he gonna do? And you, you know you have a great villain when not only do you understand wh what his motivation is and where he's coming from, but you, en you actually find yourself wanting him to win in the end. That's how you know you have a great vil uh, a good fleshed out villain. And honestly, this might as well just be Thanos' movie, like, he has the most screen time, he has the most development out of any character in this, um, and I, I appreciate that so much. In a film series that had, that have had so many weak, forgettable villains, I am so relieved that they made easily one of the biggest villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, they, they didn't just take him and make him, like, underwhelming and a joke, like they've done so many others. I appreciate that so much, and part of that goes into the visuals. The visuals on, not just Thanos, but the visuals as a whole are amazing. Th this movie looks incredible. They shot it, uh, I believe the whole movie was shot in IMAX, and I didn't see it in IMAX because I'm poor, but... <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, the movie still looks amazing, and the visual effects are fantastic, uh, particularly on Thanos. Like, the motion capture looks really impressive, and um, 
it uh, honestly it makes the piece of shit villain in Justice League, whatever the fuck his name was, it makes that villain look even more ridiculous and stupid looking than he already was. So kudos to the visual effects team. Another great thing about this movie is the action. Um, now I'm glad that even though like there is a lot of like story and dialogue uh, in in the movie, I'm glad that they understand that this is an Avengers movie. We've been waiting God knows how long to see this. Let's put all the action that we can into this movie. I mean hell, the movie opens with an action sequence and it's incredible like every time an action sequence happens it's exciting you're on the edge of your seat you want to see these heroes triumph you want to see these heroes kick ass or or as mantis says it you want to see them kick names and take ass which i love the action is great the action is great i, I really enjoyed it now this is where we start getting into some major spoilers so if you do not want to this is your last warning. If you do not want to be spoiled, go the fuck away. Because the, this this is where the real uh, meat of the review is going to be. Now, the, the parts of this movie that I respect the most and like the most is the story, the tone, and the ending. Uh, the story is, like I said, it's fairly simple. Um, on the surface, like, you know, Thanos, uh, he decides that overpopulation, uh, is a real problem, so a way to fix that is to find all of the Infinity Stones, uh, snap his fingers and wipe out half the universe so that, uh, more resources, uh, will be available and, you know, poverty and homelessness will no longer exist. Um, and you see his, uh, you you see his journey uh, finding all the all the stones, and you see like he actually kind of he actually goes through an arc. He actually goes through an emotional journey uh, to get these. And um, I like that while the movie it is still a Marvel movie, it has the same sense of fun and uh, y you know it has all these like really likable characters and enjoyable and stuff like that. But I like the fact that this movie, you know, since it, it's, this is a big movie, it did take a much more serious and darker tone to it, because this is a much more serious and darker story. Um, and I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that they, they didn't just make this, you know, like a run-of-the-mill adventure, and they actually throw some really really dark shit into this movie and that that all boils down to the ending which between this and Logan I think um, are the two most the two best endings to a superhero movie are between this and Logan now the difference between them is that this actually made me cry <laughs> Um, Logan came pretty close. I still really love Logan. I think it's a fantastic movie, but I, I personally, I have more attachment to these characters, so seeing that ending where you think that Thor has finally killed Thanos, he stabs the, um, the, like, Stormbreaker or whatever it's called, he stabs it into Thanos and he, he looks at him, he's like, you should have aimed for the head, and he snaps his fingers and then disappears in the space portal, and then it just goes quiet. And then you see a bunch of people just disintegrate. You see Bucky, you see Doctor Strange, you see the Guardians, except for Rocket. Um, you see Falcon, you see Black, or not Black Widow, sorry, um, uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, the one that broke me, and I think the one that broke most people, was um, Spider-Man. Like that was, I I I give so much props to Tom Holland. Tom Holland is I, I I highly doubt he's watching this, but Tom Holland, if you are by some miracle watching my stupid ass talk about Infinity War, you are an amazing actor and a really great Spider-Man. Like. 
you've already you already like cemented yourself as my favorite Spider-Man. Uh, and in the scene in uh, Homecoming where Vulture like traps him under all the rubble, and then he's like he's crying out for help, but then he eventually like works up the strength to like push himself free and uh, get out from under all the rubble. That was great. That was some really great, solid acting from Holland. That is easily topped by this movie, where you see him slowly fading away, and he's, like, holding on to Tony, and he's like, Mr. Stark, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And fuck, I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> oh, my God. That was... That was incredibly tough to watch, and... Like, seeing a 16 or 15 year old, however old he is in the movie, just just fade away and tell and say, like, I don't want to go, I don't want to die. That was... I respect the shit out of Disney and Marvel so much for this ending. Because... They could have easily pulled some bullshit of, like, oh, some deus ex machina allows us to... Uh, get the gauntlet off and uh, stop you from killing everyone and everything's all happy and everyone made it out okay but no no they didn't go that route they they had the balls to pull the trigger on some of your favorite characters now obviously uh, the, all of the ones that were faded away you know they're coming back cause like Especially, like, when you see Black Panther. Like, you're not gonna kill off Black Panther, like, immediately after his movie made, like, a bunch of money at the box office. You're not gonna do that. But, there are some deaths that I really hope are final, because not only would that be interesting in terms of the story, but that would also, like, make the impact much bigger. Um, like, at the beginning of the movie, uh, Heimdall and Loki are the first two that die. Well, the first that dies are all the people in Asgard, but no one really even knows them or cares about them. Um, but, yeah, Loki and Heimdall are the two main characters that... The two first two main characters uh, that are killed by Thanos. Um, now, Heimdall, I didn't, re I didn't really, like care too much about because I haven't I didn't watch any of the other Thor movies except for Ragnarok um, but so I didn't really have too much of a uh, connection with him um, but Loki like Loki I mean I had a feeling he was gonna go because he wasn't in any of the other uh, scenes from the movie after the Asgard ship but still like seeing him attempt to get the jump on Thanos and then seeing him like choke to death and his eyes are going red like that's pretty gruesome to watch and obviously I knew Vision was gonna go because like you can't have him you you can't have uh, you know Vision in the movie without Thanos you know finally getting the the Mind Stone and killing Vision but the one that surprised me the most was uh, Gamora so um, in, in the movie, uh, Gamora, uh, she knows where the Soul Stone is, uh, and she lied about it to make sure that Thanos wouldn't get it. He eventually cap captures her and takes her, uh, t he, she takes him to where the Soul Stone is, uh, where they see Red Skull, which that was really cool to see, um, cause, uh, we haven't seen him since, like, the first Cat movie. Um, so, but yeah, the, now the Red Skull is guarding over, uh, the, the Soul Stone, and he tells Thanos that in order to get the sac- or in order to get the Soul Stone, he has to sacrifice something that he loves, and at first I'm thinking, well, I mean, then, then he can't do it, he can't do anything, because, like, he doesn't feel anything, he doesn't feel love for anyone, or anything, and then, when he turns around with tears in his eyes, I'm thinking, oh, shit. Like, um, and then seeing, like, that slow, and, like, his lines, like, I already ignored my destiny once, I'm not gonna do it again, uh, and just seeing that slow, like, him throwing Gamora off the cliff, and then the, like, zoom out of her with, like, her brains splattered on the rocks below, that was surprising, I did not expect that, um, 
But yeah, so like I said, kudos to both Marvel and Disney for not being afraid to go a darker route and actually kill off some really popular characters. Another great thing about this movie actually had nothing to do with the movie itself. Um, it had to do with the audience. Now, I saw this movie uh, opening Thursday night at like 7 o'clock, and it was a packed house. Like, the, th the seats filled up really quickly, which is why I got there like an hour, two hours early. Um, but this audience was amazing. Like, th this is probably one of the best theater experiences I've ever had. Like, the atmosphere in that theater was electric. Everyone like, cheered at the right moments, everyone laughed at the right moments, there were gasps. Like, I've never heard people, like, audibly gasp, like, <gasps> in a movie before. Like, I've never seen that happen, and everyone there, clearly huge Marvel fans, there are people in cosplay, I would have done that if I had, like, thought of it. Uh, and it was just, it was so much fun. Now, as much as I love this movie, I do have a few complaints. While it does go a darker route in terms of its story, it still maintains uh, the same, you know, Marvel sense of humor and stuff. And while it doesn't go the full Thor Ragnarok route of uh, undercutting every serious moment with a dumb joke, uh, there are a few... Uh, one-liners in there that didn't really work for me were kind of bad. But the biggest complaint that I have uh, is with Star-Lord. He is made into such an idiot in this movie. Um, which I get it. He's not... In the Guardians movies, he's not always great at listening to reason, but come on. Like, it when it comes down to either worrying about one life or half of the universe. I think he could have controlled his temper a little bit for like the five seconds that it would have taken to get the gauntlet off of Thanos before he could start, you know, punching the shit out of him and like, like shooting him or whatever. So that made me a little mad because like, it was essentially Star-Lord's fault that, uh, that pretty much all this happened. It was Star-Lord's fault that Gamora was taken. It was Star-Lord's fault that Thanos got away with the Time Stone, and that 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 just pissed me off. So that that was just one of the few things that made me mad. Um, but overall, I love this movie. Um, this is if if it's not my favorite MCU movie, it's it's definitely top three for sure. Um, I love seeing all these characters together. I love. The villain, I love how uh, developed and fleshed out he is as a character. I love the action, I love the visuals, I love the sense of tension. I love that there are actual stakes in this movie. I love uh, the ending, as much as it hurts. I love the ending, um, and I can't wait to see how they wrap this up. I know that we're going to have Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, coming up next, and then Captain Marvel, which is going to be uh, set in the 90s, uh, and then whatever they're going to call uh, Avengers 4. So I'm really, I really cannot wait to see how this is wrapped up. Uh, I think that this is a fantastic superhero movie. Yeah, it has its problems, but it is definitely, they, they are small problems in, in the long run. I still really enjoyed it, and I have to give it a six Infinity Stones out of six. This was 20 bucks I'm never getting back. <laughs> Actually, as just a little bonus, because um, I, think, I think this is funny, uh, I was looking on Instagram the other day and I saw some really funny Infinity War memes. Uh, so I figured, what the heck, is a little, uh, a little bonus. Why, why not share some of these with you, because I think they're hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. I love that so much. Uh, that is so funny. <laughs> Thanos, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, that's right, Deadpool is technically with Marvel now, so... Oh man, I hope they 
No, I guess they would have to have, like plan stuff out. But I, I was, I really, th I think it would be cool if they made some like reference to people fading away in the in the movie. That's not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. Yes, in case you didn't know, um, Avengers beat out both of the new Star Wars movies at the box office, so... Applause for you. Uh, Red Button, End World Hunger. Uh, Green Button, End World Poverty. Blue Button, Bring Back Everyone Thanos Killed. Uh, and then hand rapidly pressing the blue button. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't do the same. Daughter, let's do Get Help. We're not doing Get Help. A few moments later, Get help! My daughter is dying! Get help! <laughs> okay, that's fucked up. Oh great, the the distillation meme uh, has finally come back. But, you know what? I, I'm not gonna complain. I think these are hilarious. <laughs> Me going to see Infinity War. Me watching Infinity War. Me after Infinity War. <laughs> uh... Yep, you and me both, buddy. Mabel, I, I don't feel so good. Oh, no. No, no. God damn it. That's fucked up. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. No, not Steve. Why'd you have to do it to Steve? I got the Infinity Stones. Thanos wants to know your location. <laughs> this one isn't a meme, I just I just think this picture with uh, adult Gamora and young Gamora is is just adorable. I mean, I mean, look at it. L look at it, it's so cute. And yeah, that does it for my Avengers Infinity War review. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, remember to leave a like, comment below, tell me what you thought of Infinity War. Um, click the subscribe button uh, for more reviews and ring the notification bell to get updated of whenever I post something. Um, be sure to follow me on my social medias, the Instagrams, the Twitters, the Snap, or not the Snapchats, the Stardust app, uh, because I post movie reactions there far more frequently than I do here. Um, and also be sure to subscribe to my animation channel, James MCD Productions, because I've got some stuff in the works. I know I say that a lot, I know I say that in every video, but this time I'm serious. I've got school is over, it's ending finally, so I'm gonna be working on stuff, I promise. Just give me some time, guys. And yeah, that about does it. So, thank you guys for watching. Nah. Thank you guys for watching, see you later.